Hello there, my crafty friends. It is Wednesday, January 8th, and it is 7.32. I'm late. So sorry. I'm just going to pull this up on my iPad while I wait for a few people to join. Hope everyone's having a great week so far. No, I think I went live on my page instead of my group. Hi, Diana. Ah, if you wouldn't mind sharing this, that would be great. I am, oh, I didn't write down all the names for everyone that shared. Um, that being said, there are some privacy issues with sharing. So if your profile is not set to public, I can't tell that you shared it. So you don't, I'm not asking you to change your profile to public, but I do need you to come back to this live and say shared. So I have a package of the heart doilies from last week. I'm just gonna pull this up if my iPad cooperates. Hey, Megan. Yeah, <laughs> I guess old habits die hard, right? Just gonna pull this up. Wi-Fi, I tells ya. Okay, so I have to go back into my group to see last week's. So I have two great projects planned for you. No, no I am, uh, am I in my group? Pretty sure that's where I went. Okay, let me pull this up. Um, in the meantime, because my Wi-Fi is not cooperating, for this at least, I hope it cooperates for the live. Um, the Timeless Tropical or the Tropical Oasis Creativity Without Borders class is open for registration until Monday, January uh, 13th because my bingo is on the 11th. Uh, so four great projects that you get all the materials for. You can add on the bundle, you can add on the embossing folder. Uh, and then not only do you have the supplies to make those eight cards, because it's two of each of four designs, you also have my bonus project and Kelly's bonus project. So 10 projects altogether. Now you don't get the supplies for those last two, but you get the inspiration. Okay, birthdays, birthdays, birthdays. How many shares? It shows three. So it's going to be oh, slim pickings because no, I can't see. Okay, let me just, sorry. Um, so each week I am going to have a draw for those that share my video. So I was just saying, if your profile is set to private, totally fine, but you need to come back to the live and say shared. I don't see anything that says shared and I can't see who did it last week. I know a couple of those are mine. So if you shared last week's video, can you please come back and tell me that you shared it so that I can award these heart doilies, which are arriving tomorrow, not today. Um, okay, so, I'm still not back to that. Uh, so I will postpone giving away those heart doilies for tonight. We'll do that. Um, I am going live in the Pretty AF group tomorrow. So if you haven't heard of that, that is my new group with Tiffany Almeida of Pretty and Papercraft. She is in the US and we are giving the month of January for free. After that, it will be $15 a month Canadian or US. The Canadian price may need to go up a little bit, but we'll see. Um, but you will get four full classes each month. So you will have four Facebook Live. So I'm going live tomorrow night and I'm doing Bonanza Buddies four projects and you will get the project sheet. There's no, um, it's not like a great written tutorial, it's a project sheet. So it tells you what you need and a few things. Uh, so you will get four full classes each and every month. You will get, um, we have a monthly creative challenge. We have a monthly um, virtual swap. So there are chances to win prize patrol. There are there will be prize patrol in the Facebook live itself and you will get a card and a gift from us in your birthday month when you're a subscriber. So 
Uh, if you want to be a part of that, just look up Pretty AF. Uh, request access and you, it's free for the month of January so you still have a solid three weeks to enjoy it and you'll get all of these birthday bonanza ideas tomorrow next week I believe Tiffany's working with the mountain air bundle and then the last two weeks of January are all about Valentine's Day and all things love so you can't go wrong okay uh, only other housekeeping I think is celebration is on and for every $60 you spend Canadian, you get a level one item. If you spend 120, you get a level two. And I will tell you right now, uh, my bingo registration for Saturday is closed. The prizes are phenomenal. So um, if you wanna see what that's all about, I'll take some pictures hopefully during the event and post them and then you can catch the next one. Okay, got this all pulled up. I haven't shared it myself, but if you guys can share it for the option to win, um, what are we going to win for next week? Let's do the champagne rhinestones. Share this, come back and tell me you've shared it because that is going to be your entry. I, every time people share, I can't see who has done it. I can see that it's been shared three times, but I know that I share to groups too. So I, I could get the heart doilies. <laughs> Uh, absolutely, Megan, just request access. Um, okay, so two projects. And I'm going to show you some swaps for both of these bundles. Actually, I only have one swap for the one, but I have a bunch of samples for the other one. So celebration. There are some fabulous coordination products that are coming out and I will have some of those arriving on Friday. We will get to play with them at my bingo. Um, so yeah, lots of great fun coming up. I'm hoping to do an online bingo at some point, but for those of you that live in like the Portage La Prairie or Brandon area of Manitoba, I have had a request to hold a bingo out there. So if you live out that way and Brandon would be more convenient then we'll figure out a date for that. I want to have a certain number of people participating before I book it solid but um, let's flip this around and get our craft on and I'm going to tell you what inspired one of these projects. That'll be the second project but I'm going to flip this around. Hello Donna. Hello Betsy. Okay I'm going to cover this. Hi Pam. You came just in time to flip the camera. Okay, so those of you that are just joining now, if you can share this video, that would be great. I'm going to turn on some more light here. Um, and come back and tell me that you've shared. Uh, well, or wait till the end of the live and share then. Because I'd like you to hang around. Okay, so the first of tonight's projects. Lovely lily pad. And if you haven't seen this yet, I can finally open this and show you. Thank you, Pam. Um, okay, lovely lily pad is actually a full like suite of products. So there's the lily pad dies, which you get with a $120 order. Those are some great samples. And then you can get the lovely lily pad stamp set, which is reversible. So these darker gray images are the reverse. So the lily pad, you can add some shading and you'll see that in a minute. And then you can also get this gorgeous DSP. Now I have heard demonstrators say that this is not their cup of tea. It's a little too Monet, the colors don't work. But if you check out the B sides of this paper, mm -mm -mm. Let me show you. So if you're not a Monet fan, A side probably is not going to be your jam. But A side. Whoops. Spoiler. That is the B side. So it's a neat like acrylic paint background. This is the A side of this one. And then you've got this gorgeous uh, lovely lipstick painted canvas. You basically have to turn them over to see if they're different. Uh, this one and this one has gorgeous grape, I believe it is, on the back. And then this one, uh, Bermuda Bay, I'm gonna say. 
ha ha ha. And then that one, Grapefruit Grove. So there are some gorgeous, like if you don't like the A side, do not fret because the B sides are amazing too. Thank you for sharing, Donna. Okay, so that is the B side. So if you're not a water lily or Monet type fan, don't worry. So you can get all three of those. Now that would be basically a $240 order, which sounds terrifying, I know, but if we really face it, we're probably spending, well, I know I'm definitely spending that, but um, those of you that are coming to bingo, there'll be a nice little surprise for you. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some samples. So the all of the ones without the clear envelope are ones that I've made since I got the bundle. So this has this is the one we're gonna make tonight, so I'm not gonna go over too many of the details now. And then there's this one, and it has the From My Heart faceted gems on there. Gorgeous. I don't know that I did anything on the inside. Oh, with a great big wish for happiness. This is the Sending Thoughts. Sending what? Uh, sending You Thoughts. This one has got to be my favorite. So this is that super fun die, which you may think, hmm, what am I going to do with this? Make a fun rainbow card. I love this one. I love the black, the white, all the... It's almost the entire Brights collection. And then I use that glittered organdy ribbon. And I would make this one for you tonight, but it's going to take too long. And also, I don't have any more of this ribbon. And that really made it. So that one is my favorite. I'm going to lay them all out and you can tell me which one is your favorite when we get to the end. Thank you everyone who's joining in. Hey Jenny. Thank you. Uh, so I said that one was my favorite. This one is a very close second. So this one, I think I showed this one before. This was inspired by a Christina Werner card. Thank you, Diana. Uh, this has to be my favorite, but I really love that one too. Okay, and then there is my last sample using that one. And I use that same sentiment from Sending You Thoughts. So those are my four, five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. And then this is a swap that I participated in that was Canada wide. And this is Diana Langman. So it's pretty just with that DSP and she used the subtle embossing folder on the DSP. It looks pretty neat. Maybe she didn't. Maybe it's just because it's on a subtle mat. And then this one, I love this one. I think I'm gonna case this at some point. So you tell me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which one's your favorite? <laughs> That's cute, Jenny. Hey, Melanie, thank you for watching. Okay, so we're for those that are just coming in, tell me which one's your favorite. I know you're just coming in, but I'm going to get the supplies I need because we're going to make this one. I wanted to show you how I did this one. It may look pretty simple, but let's have a little play, shall we? And if you are having a hard time hearing me, can you please comment and tell me to look up? Because my problem is once I sit down, my phone is up here. And I'm looking down here, so my voice doesn't end up coming back. So I need to do what I'm doing right now, which is kind of aiming <laughs> at my phone. So just give me a comment if you're finding that you can't hear me very well. Please. Please and thank you. Okay, so card base. I need a mat. Voila. I don't know what it is with my current batch of Whisper White Thick, but it doesn't seem to matter how many times I burnish it. It is not laying as flat as it normally does. I don't know if it's the weather or what. Okay, one and two, definitely popular. Four. All of them. <laughs> Aww. That's so great. Okay, so I have the beads and baubles embossing folder. I have a card base, a mat. We need a little bit of Whisper White scrap. 
which I have here. I need a piece of granny apple green for the lily pad, and then we need some pretty peacock and Bermuda bay. How did I cut that? Just grabbing some paper. And of course I have no Bermuda Bay scraps cut. I'm not to cut them. Okay, so there's a Bermuda Bay. Oh no, that's not good. I hope it's, uh, I had to upgrade my internet to avoid the freezing. It was getting so frustrating. It's really hard to have a business where you rely on your internet and Facebook Live. So I finally had to upgrade and it, I think it's been working a lot better since. But I also know that my modem is now upstairs instead of in the basement and like way too far away from my craft room. Okay, that ought to be enough for the pretty peacock. Now I just need granny apple green. So Wednesdays are always a little hectic because I have to leave work, go get my son, which is like a half hour each way. Uh, and we usually end up eating fast food on the way home because we know, we both know that I have Facebook Live. Um, but today I went to do a whole bunch of errands at lunch and it turned out my daughter had my debit card so I couldn't do anything. So I had to go to the post office, I had to go, uh, what else, oh, I had to go get gas, I had to go pick up a check. Just a whole bunch of running so we got home had enough time to get settled in but usually I would like to have all this stuff ready and you can tell why I didn't okay so for this beads and baubles we are going to put it in sideways you could put it in the other way as well oh that's a good idea Pam go back Go out and come back in and see if that makes a difference. Sorry, my son is playing with the dogs if you hear barking. Okay, now any guesses as to how I got that water look on my embossed mat before I show you? That's okay, Jenny. I'm happy that you're watching it all. You're right, Megan. She does want to come say hi. She is such a high energy dog that when we come home, she jumps. Like I am five seven and she easily comes up to um, like probably rib level. It's nuts. But until you say hi to her, she's just gonna keep jumping, so. We've learned to just say hi. Okay, Diana says Aqua Painter. Who's got some guesses? Look how much I've used these. You can tell it was that that did it. Okay, I need the lily pad die. I need this fancy one. And then we need these two. Oh, I have some wonderful news not like earth shattering or anything but if you saw, happen to see my post I think it was on stamp junkies that I posted it I could not find the dye for this flower in uh, painted poppies nope peaceful moments looked everywhere like I mean I went through my garbage like with food and everything in it could not find it anywhere checked every magnetic surface I've like turned this room almost upside down could not find it 
and I had so many comments. I mean, literally 4,000 plus people have seen this post and a lot have commented and it was so great that they did. Um, a lot said Misty Magnet. So, I mean, one of the first things I checked was my Stamparatus because I know that that's happened before where something has gotten stuck to the magnet. So, check that continued to obsess about it and someone had said well contact the company and see if they'll send you another one because I'm thinking ah I haven't even got everything I wanted from the catalog I don't want to have to replace a set of dies for one die so I contacted Stampin' Up and said okay I know this is a long shot but this is what happened can't find the die anywhere have turned the house upside down and can't find it and bless their little crafty hearts, their big crafty hearts, they're sending me a replacement. So, I think I'm pretty lucky. I don't know if they would always do that, but, oh, I was like heartbroken. So, the funny part about that, let me show you these bundles so you understand what I'm talking about. So, I had an order that just arrived yesterday, and in it was painted poppies. Now, if you follow me, you know that the January Stamping Society tutorial is this whole suite. The Peaceful Poppy Suite. I'm trying to, I'm like, I know it's two of these words. It's not painted moments, so it must be Peaceful Poppies. So that was the suite. And the reason it's the suite is because this was on back order when I placed my order. So this is such an amazing suite if you haven't seen this whoops if you haven't seen this in the catalog oh you're you're just gonna i don't know what i don't want to say you're gonna die because we don't want that um oh, ipad won't stay still okay so this one has all of these amazing dies and i haven't used any of them yet but trust me i will but what happened was I lost this die. Okay, cry, dig through the garbage, don't find it. So wouldn't you know, this one arrives. Oh, it's not exactly the same size. I was going to say, oh, of course, they can't have two of the one I need. It's got to be two of the, like, the outline one. But it looks like these are different sizes. Very close. Ooh, very close, but... A little bit different size so I'm like oh no anyways they sent me an email today and they're sending me out a replacement so I'm very lucky you will definitely be seeing more of this suite for me it is amazing there is no part of this suite that isn't amazing the DSP the stamps the dies all of it is incredible the ribbon everything so I used, I don't know if you saw it, you might have seen it already, but I feel like a broken record. We recently had an RCMP officer that was killed in the line of duty and his daughters went to school with my kids. They weren't the same ages, but like all the way through school, same daycare, same schools. And I made a similar card to this and dropped it off and it was just, oh. Isn't that beautiful? And you could use it. You can use it for a funeral. You can use it for Remembrance Day. You can use it for so much. And just look at these dies. And I'm going to have one coming up soon. Um, I Diana, I don't know if it's on your end because my iPad froze for a minute. I hope it's okay now. Pam, I was worried I was going to get kicked out too, but it seems to be okay. If it's not working, I will finish this one and I'll start a new one and see if that makes a difference. Just let me know. Um, anyways, I saw a video from Jennifer McGuire that will step this up a whole other level. So I'm going to do something with that soon. Okay, back to this. So let's cut out our lily pad. I'm just going to put a bit of washi tape on this so it doesn't move. And those two we're going to stamp first. So let's put these ones through the big shop quick. Whoops. Took out my thin die adapter for the embossing and forgot to put it back in. I cannot wait for Stampin' Up 
to announce what they are bringing for a die cutting machine. Can't wait. Okay, so this one tends to stay intact when you die cut it, which is great. You don't end up with a whole bunch of pieces everywhere. And then you can just take your die brush over a little bin, over your garbage. Although now that I lost that die, I'm kind of reluctant to do anything over my garbage. And the thing is, I had all these people saying, oh, well, next time you clean your craft room, you'll find it. And I'm like, um, my craft room isn't like ever a mess. There may be stuff on my table, but I mean, I know where things are. I always put things back when I'm done with them. So it drives me crazy that I can't find that. Okay. I feel like there's something else I should be telling you, but I can't remember right now. Okay, so we have two pieces cut. Do we have any more? Pam, I have not said. Does anyone else have a guess as to how I colored my water? Megan, or Megan, Diana said um, aqua painters. Jenny said wink with color. Uh, I am using lovely lipstick for both of these. Clean it in between because are you ready for the magic? So this is reversible. This is like the cup of Christmas. It's new technology. So you clean it, flip it over, and with flirty flamingo, we will do the other side. So you just ink it up. Now this does not fill this perfectly. It is supposed to be kind of artistic. It doesn't, um, it doesn't fill it perfectly. Oh, that's too dark. And I missed a spot. Okay, let's try that. No, Jenny, I checked on my Stamparatus. That was one of the first places I checked because of that. Uh, let's stamp this off once. Might as well stamp it on there. I have a video to record after this, so I'm trying to conserve my grid paper. Okay, so that is the color side. That's a good guess, Pam. Okay, there we go. That's quite the difference. Now, the first time I used this, ugh, part of my reach, I did not use my stamp cleaning pad. So that stained it a fair amount. Now, for those of you watching, does anyone else have this stamp cleaning pad? Because this is now my second one, and I don't know if you can see this, but there's a whole bunch of like fluff. It's whatever the texture is on there. It's my second one and I don't know if I keep getting faulty ones or if I'm using it wrong, but it's like it's pilling or shedding. You see? I don't know. It sure works like a dream just doesn't look pretty and it's shedding all over okay so let's do our outline first this time am I is that what it is because this is my second one figure I must be doing something wrong off stamp it on the small one does fit better than the larger one does okay so that's it for those two so we can die cut those so there are dies that cut out the shapes and then there are ones that are just kind of 
accents because if you look at these you can actually glue this on there or adhere it however you want and it adds some nice dimension that one doesn't really complement that one too much but you can add that or you can just have that like on a colored piece of cardstock I love that celebration items have dies For those of you that have seen the coordination products, what are your must-haves? I ordered three of them this morning, and I can't wait to play. Although I did hem and haw over them overnight. I was sick the last two days, and I slept too much yesterday, so then of course I go to bed, and hey, I just got kicked out of my own live and onto Allison Okamitsu. Um, couldn't sleep, so I needed to get all of this stuff written down, and that was part of it. I'm like, am I really gonna use it? Okay, so now we have all of our pieces, I hope. The ladybug dies, yes. I just ripped it a little bit. I don't know what happened here. I can't see my own live now. Oh, there we go. Yes, Ladybug dies. Two more things. One of them, I was so shocked when I got my swaps at how many people had used this one stamp set. So, of course, I had to get the dies for that. Okay, so are you ready for the water? I'm trying to talk loud enough so you can hear me, and now I just feel like I'm yelling. Pam, are you talking about the coordination DSP? It goes with the umbrella, the under my umbrella uh, bundle. Okay, this is how I did my water. What color did I use? It's pool party or coastal cabana. Let's start with pool party. Yes, the DSP because I also ordered the under my umbrella bundle because it's just so cute. So this is how I did the water. I just flipped it around each time and then filled in gaps at the end. So this is the reverse side of it that I'm using right now. Create some neat little waves. And then you can go in and fill in your gaps. So this was a great way to keep the texture from my embossing so that it stayed white. Because if I had used my aqua painter, it would have gone all through and kind of muddied it up. But this way it kept the white because the stamp isn't going inside unless I press too hard. <laughs> I always love to be teaching. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this card. All I have to do now is assemble it. So I just glue the lily pad on. Actually, I'm gonna start with this because I wanna make sure that I have enough water. And the beauty of this one is there's that stripe or the strip there, which allows you to apply your adhesive without having to worry. Oh, I didn't use the whole thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I cut two off. Oops. Okay, now this next part is totally off topic, but while I was sick and relegated to the couch, I watched a couple of movies, because that day I couldn't sleep. 
and I just want to tell you because they were so good. I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, one of them, the one that I've now watched like four times, is Only the Brave, which is Miles Teller, Josh Brolin, Jennifer Connelly, uh, and it's about these wildland firefighters in Arizona. And it is, it's not a happy story, it is based on true events, but it is, oh, it's so wonderfully done. I don't know if the people in Arizona would concur, but I, I just, I could watch it over and over again. Uh, the other one that made me cry, because this one definitely did, was the Book of Henry. And I don't know if you've heard of that one, but um, Henry is uh, an 11-year-old boy, and he's quite gifted. And he's got, like, an average intelligence brother and I'm not going to give away anything, but it's, uh, it's emotional. I mean, I was sitting there and bawling my eyes out. Now, part of that is because my daughter wants to apply to University of Calgary and move two provinces away, and it's very emotional. And her puppy was sitting on me, and I, I just started crying. I'm like, what am I going to do without you guys? So that could have been part of it. <laughs> I'm not going to discount that. Okay, now if you saw, or if you missed it, this sentiment is from Peaceful Moments, and I'm going to use Bermuda Bay. Yeah, Jenny, I would have thought that the gangs all near would have had die cuts too. I really thought that one was going to be more popular than it has been, and maybe that's because so much of it was at on stage, but I've been surprised. Any guesses as to which celebration item I received a ton of swaps on? It is a stamp set, I will give you that much. I'm not going to tell you more than that because it would give you too much information and then you'd know it for sure. Okay, I'm just going to trim this down. Use my fancy dancy little new trimmer. So this is part of the joining offer with Celebration. If you join between January 3rd, 4th, well, if you join between today and March 31st, you will get this little mini trimmer and the DSP sampler and a stamp set of your choice from the annual or mini catalogs for free. So I just had a customer of mine join my team earlier this week and just perfect. She got um, a stamp set that coordinated with a set of dies that she was getting but they're no longer bundled and it is a fairly hefty price tag on a stamp set so that was the one she used as her freebie. So it can be any stamp set from those two catalogs. It cannot be a celebration. I think that should be narrow enough. A little more. I knew I cut this too wide. So, yeah, you get this, you get the DSP sampler, and you get a stamp set of your choosing. And if you live in Canada and you're not working with a demonstrator and have ever thought of joining, now is the perfect time. If you have any questions, you can send me an email. I would be happy to discuss the perks. I know that with almost anyone that's joined my team, uh, they have needed that face-to-face -face conversation to see why it's so beneficial, and they had no idea. Okay, yammer, yammer, yammer. Take my favorite punch. Oh, I know, Jenny, I have to let her fly, and I totally will, but it's the thought of it right now. She is going to Calgary next week with a friend. He had moved there a few weeks ago, and then it was short-lived, and he moved back, and now he's going back out there, so she's going to go with him, so... It's just the emotion of it all. This isn't the best city 
to stay in lifelong. So I get it. Okay, now I think I had, oh, I was reading, Jenny, your comment about the ladybugs and the gangs all mirror. I did not have one of the gangs all mirror in the swap. I was shocked. Anyone else have any guesses for the celebration? I think there were only three ladybugs too. That was also pretty surprising. My copy of that stamp set is coming on Friday. I can't wait. And it's coming with the dies. I thought I could use my scan and cut, but nah. Let's go for the dies. Scan and cut can be finicky, and in all honesty, I do not use mine enough. So it just mirrors that crooked. Well, it's gonna have to do. Not the golf set. It's a celebration one. If you sign up, don't have to have classes either. Yes, Jenny, you're absolutely right. Um, I know that was part of it when I started, but I always knew that this was going to be a business for me. But, I mean, all of my downline are in it for the discount. And that's perfect. Okay, I'm not going to stamp anything on the inside of that one, but you can see now how I did that. If I hadn't been talking so much and trying to concentrate on what I was saying, this would have taken a lot less time, but say la vie. Um, there were a few of the lily pads. I'm just going to show you what it was because I was floored at how many there were. In a way, I wish that when we had signed up for the swap, we would, had signed up for specific things, but that was not the case. Okay, so let me go through these super quick. So there's Birthday Bonanza, Bonanza Buddies, and that was... I'm not going to go through all the names. That one's a fanciful. I haven't actually taken it out yet, but it's gorgeous. Here's another one for the... Oh, that one missed my pile. It's a pretty one. Uh, here is, oh, my bundle of this arrives tomorrow. I can't wait. <laughs> it wasn't my favorite in the beginning, but... Ooh, this is the one Rosemary just did on her Facebook Live yesterday. Or earlier this week. This one was mine, and this little gate opens up. So that is the Grace's Garden. Love that, but I'm having a hard time figuring out other ways to use it. I know when I first started, I heard a demonstrator say, you know what, when you look at a, any stamp set, think of how you can use it without that main component. Well, the main component in this one is the gate and the fence, right? So, I mean, yeah, I could do like a field of flowers, but I'm struggling. I love it, but I'm struggling. So here is that under my umbrella. That one is arriving on Friday. There's a fancy fold with the Parisian suite. I haven't gotten this one yet. It's on my wish list, but it hasn't made the cart yet. Cart, basket, whatever it is. This one's beautiful. The tulips. And this one, when uh, they were showing pictures from on stage, someone had done the fairy from New Wonders with a tulip skirt. So this one had like this big tulip and she looked like a very hippie lady. She had big hips and now that's all I see when I see this punch. That one's beautiful. So this was the only bee. I was shocked. The only bee. I figured it, I'd have like tons of bees and ladybugs. Okay. Speaking of ladybugs, let's look at the three of those. There's only a few more that we're going to go through in here. So, ladybug, ladybug, ladybug. I love the flowers in the background. Okay, one more thing before the one that I show you. So this is the Thoughtful Blooms. It's very pretty. It's a nice little builder. And then that was mine for the 
thoughtful blooms. So I just used the punches and the sequins and the twine, made a little wildflower bouquet. Now, are you ready? Favorite one on top? Happy birthday to you was the most, look at this pile. So if you are unfamiliar, it is this one here with a cake and there's happy birthday to you and celebrate. So there are coordinating dies and mine are coming on Friday. And the beauty of the dies is they actually cut the flowers separate from the cake. So you can add layers and layers and layers. I'm using glue dots to cover that page. <laughs> so I, I wasn't gonna get this one either, but then when I saw the dies, I thought, okay. And I mean, honestly, this one is beautiful. I love soft sea foam and petal pink together. And you will see that in my blog post tomorrow. That was the color scheme I chose. But look at this one. Using the Golden Honey DSP with black and gold embossing. Isn't that gorgeous? Jenny, what do you mean you'll be using glue dots to cover that page? So that they stick together? I love this one too. I love that it's got that Parisian flourish embossing folder and then it's got the stitched scalloped rectangle. So that's that. Those are all the swaps that I received. And now let's get on to the second project for tonight. Second and final before you're like, oh God, how much longer is she going to be on? So this bundle finally arrived yesterday. And I mean finally because I ordered on Boxing Day and because of the holidays, the shipping was totally wackadoodle. So I ordered this on Boxing Day with the um, painted poppies and um, So Sentimental, which is, uh, oh, I've got it put away for something else. So those just arrived yesterday. I ordered again on December 31st and that one arrives tomorrow. So that holiday shipping schedule really threw me. Um, bees give you panic attacks. Okay, well maybe don't look then. So we are going to use this set and I haven't made this card yet. I have an idea in my head and this is where the story from driving home comes in. So it's snowing outside. It's been snowing for a few hours and it's a light pretty snow. Um, so front windshield, I've got the wipers going, back windshield, I've got it going like intermittently. But as it's defrosting, I mean, the wiper has cleared this way, right? But there's still snow all around here. So I turn my rear defrost on and I get lines going through, which totally reminded me of this. So I'm like, there we go. There's the second card. So I have cut this decorative bee out of this gorgeous die. And then I did one out of the smaller one with the gold glimmer paper, but they don't fit. And I mean, I should have known that when I looked at it, but um, you could use it kind of as a background, but I don't think it's gonna work. Put this piece on there. So after that, I decided, okay, well, I'll cut the hive out of the gold glimmer and I'll just pop a couple of these in. Now, uh, yeah, Jenny, I'm sure you don't want it. Pam, Boxing Day is the day after Christmas Day and it's um, nothing but sales. So my daughter was working at the mall as um, just a seasonal position and I dropped her off that day and it was insane. It took half an hour just to drop her off. I still never made it to the door, but she did because we left so early. She made it to work on time, but just barely. Okay, so um, that is when people go shopping. It's kind of like Black Friday, but it's after Christmas. So some people will go out and get their wrapping paper for next year and all kinds of nutty deals. For me, the last thing I want to do is be anywhere near a mall. Okay, now I've seen others struggle with getting a good impression on this, so I'm going to bring in my Pearson mat and some Versamark. And we're going to do some tone on tone once I find my gold powder. 
You could probably use clear on this as well. Okay. Now, the one thing I'm going to ask you, I haven't given you any polls yet tonight. I want you to decide which DSP we're going to use. Ooh, lovely. Should we use, now I've got a black card base, but that could change. Should we use the white with the gold honeycomb or the black with like the octagon shaped thingy? It is up to you. Woohoo! I should have used my embossing buddy, but we are going to die cut this. Thank you to those who have stuck through it. I know my numbers aren't very high tonight, but we do have all week to share this. If you're catching it on replay, I will do the prize drawing next Wednesday. Okay. I think that's good. Now, usually I don't like to do embossing during a Facebook Live because of the noise. With a YouTube video, I can edit it out, but we're kind of stuck with no choice. So if the sound bothers you, here is your warning to just turn it down for a moment. When you see me put this down, you can turn it back on. Okay, two volts for black. That's what I thought too. Now, I guess the question I have is, I'm planning on cutting just a stitch circle. Should we leave that as the full background? I'll trim the excess. We will cut the high vote, and then should I put a piece of black cardstock to kind of mat this? Because I think it's going to get lost if I put it right on here. It's still a little warm. What do we think? I think a black stitch circle, but I want to see what you think. And Jenny, for people like you that don't like the bees or aren't crazy about the bundle, the DSP on its own is so great because of all the black and white and the black and gold and white and gold. So I don't think you can go wrong in getting this bundle. Even if you don't like the bees. Okay, now with my foil, I always cut around because if you have well-loved plates like I do, it will leave all of those impressions in the rest of your foil and you don't want that. Okay, just gonna die cut this quickly. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Still stayed within there, but I think I've got to trim that just a tiny bit. <laughs> I think you can't go wrong with the B side or the A side of any of these papers. I guess the B side is the flat which tends to have the bees. It's the A side that has the gold foil. Okay, little piece of black. So I did a whole bunch of the tiny keepsake boxes for some craft sales in December. So I have all these pieces that are just like this and it's perfect for little scraps. You may have noticed that was the same shape as my Whisper White was because I did snowmen and penguins and reindeer, Santas and elves. 
Okay, so that is the largest stitch circle. We've got that. And I'm thinking this is going to get lost back there, isn't it? I think so. So maybe we'll put it where it's all on the black. Ooh -hoo -hoo. And then this, I didn't mention, is the black uh, foil. So instead of just using regular black cardstock, you can use the foil and really make it pop. Okay, I'm just gonna trim this down, bring in our little trimmer now. The only problem with this is it only goes to four inches. So that <laughs> is why I still keep my tonic one on my desktop. Oh, and that being said, I have my Stampin' Up trimmer on my desk too, on my left side, but I need new blades. So I was able to order those yesterday. They are in stock. You can get a four pack. And in Canada, I believe it was $16.25 for four of them. So then I can start using that again because it was leaving some not so nice edges. Okay, we're not going to pop this up. Well, maybe we should. Nah. It's glued now. Just going to add glue in some of the intersecting pieces. I suggest putting a block on it, a block or two, to let it set. Put this die away before it goes AWOL. Can you tell I'm a little paranoid now about losing my dies? And what do you want to bet that as soon as the replacement arrives, I'm going to find the old one? Bets? So what, what are the cards that you're working on, Jenny, besides the meerkats? Okay, I think we're going to pop the beehive up on dimensionals. And let's do it like that. Now this little guy doesn't have a whole lot of places where we can adhere him. But I think we're going to kind of pop those wings up and just put some glue on these stripes. And I think if you wanted to get really picky, you could trace the die and cut it out or trace around this and glue it onto some Daffodil Delight, So Saffron, Crush Curry. But I'm okay with just the outline. Also, because this is foil on foil, it's give and glimmer paper it is giving it uh, a nice little pop <laughs> Donna that's so cute you know what I saw it and I loved it right away and then I talked myself out of it and I think I now have two packs of the golden honey DSP with one more on the way and this just arrived yesterday and I am smitten with it now I don't know that I'm ever going to use the sentiments because that's not really my style. Like I love a good mixed font, but this is a little too something for me. I might use that one and that one, but these bees, oh my goodness. And the hive or um, whatever this is, that's the hive. Like there's not a whole lot to it, but it's gorgeous. And then you step it up with the gold foil, the black foil, the gold, glimmer paper and now in a couple of places we are going to pop these up on some minis and add just a little bit more I don't even know that we need a sentiment on here but if you are like me and you don't care so much for the fonts in here you can always use something from itty bitty greetings you can use um, here's a card is a great one that's all sentiments. 
So you could do hello there, you made my day, thank you for being my friend, happy birthday. I love this one. It's all messy. The hair, the house, the heart, life. Uh, sending you thoughts is a great one. Sending a little something, like a bee sting. <laughs> But itty bitty greetings is always, you can never go wrong with that one. I'm sure there's something in here that would work. Sweet baby for the honey. Uh, you could do happy birthday, many thanks, uh, maybe not with love and sympathy. A little hello. Hey friend, sent with love for you. Have a lucky day because you don't want to get stung. Lots of great stuff. So if you don't care for a sentiment in any particular... Yes, honeycombs, thank you. This is the hive, those are the combs. Thank you, Jenny. Um, if you don't care for the sentiments in a set, then go to another set. Because I'm telling you, for me, this is not my jam. It's too much. But I know I have options. And I think... The best part about using a different bundle is that not everyone else is going to think about using that same combination. I might not have put enough glue on this guy. Oh, that one kind of gets lost. Uh, let's put two together. So those all came out just perfectly. You can put in as many or as few as you like. So I think, what do we want as a sentiment? I feel like we need something else on here. Dun, 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 dun. A little banner at the bottom. What shall we do? You know what, let's do hello there. And I'm going to show you another set of dies because these ones are fantastic. Ah, that was the block that was keeping my iPad <laughs> where it was supposed to be. Um, hey, Tammy. Glad you caught me live. Okay, so we'll use this little piece of the basic black. And are you ready? This bundle, so sentimental, is in the same mini catalog. Uh, lots of great sentiments, some that aren't so much my style, but whatevs. But these, and these, aren't they adorable? So I think, hello there would fit. Okay, I'm going to give you two options. I can't give it, oh. do we use this one? Oh boy. I cut my nails and now I can't do anything. That one, I think that one might be too big. Yeah, I think the rectangle is going to be too big. Do we do this one? Or do we do something from Ornate Frames? Da -da -da. I don't like that one. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that is the one that I have not used yet. We could use that little hello there. I'd kind of like to mimic that shape, but I don't have anything quite that shape. Unless we go to the stitched nested dies. Let's do that. Which one's on your order, Jenny? Is it the um, So Sentimental? I did not care for these dies when I first saw them. I mean, this one, great. Loved these. Wasn't so sure about the bottom ones, but the amount of times that I have purchased the dies without the stamp set or the punch without the stamp set only to end up ordering the stamp set later, I'm like, nope, I'm getting it as the bundle. I'm saving the 10%. Because I love that one, I love that one. This is gonna be perfect for so many things and you you can't go wrong with a for you. Did you hit that overnight button, Jenny?
for mine for bingo it's expedited because yes I just I the whole point was or the whole intention all along was to do an expedited order but after these last two orders with UPS I'm too impatient for regular shipping two days versus like eight too much can't do it I'm kind of an instant gratification person. I want whatever it was yesterday. Like I was eating healthy yesterday. How come I didn't lose any weight? <laughs> Obviously, I know that it's not gonna happen that fast, but. Uh. Okay, so I gave you a choice and then I decided on my own anyways. But I think you're going to like this. Bingo winnings. Ooh! So, Jenny, if it's the birthday buddies, it is at the Bonanza Suite with the toucan and the poor little koala and the lion. Because if it is, make sure that you watch my pretty AF Facebook Live tomorrow night because that is the bundle that I'm using. There will be four projects using that bundle. And for those of you either watching live that weren't here at the beginning or um, catching it on the replay, if you would like to join the Pretty AF group, just search it up. And it is free for the month of January. After that, it will be $15 per month. You get basically four full classes each month and prize patrol and birthday cards and gifts and it's just fabulous. Okay, I'm gonna put this on here and then we're gonna call it done. I will put on the inside afterwards. I mean, you've seen me do that a million times, so. Sorry, I didn't give you a warning this time. a little crooked. I put my sticker on crooked so it's hard to remember how much you have to correct. I lied. I am going to put the inside in while we're still on here because I want to stamp a B. laundry day. I have no motivation or desire to do anything housework related anymore. It's just craft, craft, craft all the time. Okay, so I'm going to use this little bee because the big one is a little too big. It's kind of overwhelming for the inside of a card. And I'm just going to leave it blank because on the outside we're going to have hello there. But I am going to use... Memento, and I'll just stamp two little bees, one at the bottom, one at the top, one at the bottom isn't as good, and then it'll just be blank in there. Now, because I used Memento, I could color in the bodies. I? Should I? For those of you that use snail or haven't used snail and are wondering how you go about changing it, I'm going to show you. And then we're going to call this done. Because I still have a blog post and two videos. Okay, so... I mean, I want to take this apart and salvage it, but all you do is take this out, put that on there, and you're ready to roll. This is garbage. Peel back your little lid. Well, it 
Let's put the nicer B at the bottom. Oh, that's a genius idea, Jenny. Do people ask you what you're doing? Maybe I should start going to a laundromat. I'll get new customers. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's not it. Well, let's put this guy on, but let's pop it up on dimensionals. And we'll just trim off that end. It's going to hang off. I hear you, Pam. With me, it's two teenagers, one husband, and three dogs. And I think the dogs are the worst of it. Whoops. Dimensional too close to the side. Now, if I had the black dimensionals, that would have been a perfect opportunity to use them, but I don't. So I'm just going to push that in just a little bit. And... I think, because I just happen to have it here, I'm just going to color the end of that so that it's not quite so obvious. Now, if this gold metallic thread were still current, I would add some of that on there, but it's not, and I don't want to add too much to this and make it, like, just push it too far. So I think we're going to call that done. So those are the two cards for tonight. We've got a lot of patterns going on in the background and I thank you so so much for watching tonight. I just want to show you that inside again. You could put whatever sentiment you want in there. I'm just going to leave that blank but I hope that inspired you and I think that's it. So thank you for watching. Uh, like I said earlier, if you want to be entered in the drawing for next week, please go and share this, whether it's live or the replay, and then come back and tell me in the comments that you shared it. Because of privacy settings, I can't tell when people have shared it, and I do not want you changing your privacy settings just so that I can see that you've shared it. You don't want all of your information to be all out there. So just come back and tell me that you've shared it. You'll be entered to win the champagne rhinestones next week. And that's all. Enjoy the rest of your night and we'll see you soon, my crafty friends. Bye.